Hello, dear brothers and sisters. Thank you for joining Mother and Refuge of the End Times. We would like to share with you a message from our Lord Jesus Christ to Luz de Maria. Come, Holy Spirit, enlighten our minds to discern and to live in the most holy will of God in all things, that no evil may prosper through us or against us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. On September 18th, 2023, our Lord Jesus Christ said to Luz de Maria de Bonilla, My beloved children, receive my love. You are my children, and I protect you, so that you would not fall prey to evil. You continue on the path of perdition by adopting every sin as part of your daily lives. I used to be treated with respect and holy fear, but today I am an object of derision, and humanity is constantly being distanced from my law, calling what is immoral good and enjoying what is sinful. You have transgressed my law. You have come to worship pagan gods. See Hosea 6 verse 7, Second Book of Kings, chapter 17 verses 15 to 17. This generation confronts me without bearing in mind that I am their God. See John 8, verse 58. You offend me without thinking that you are going backwards spiritually, enjoying crawling on the ground like snakes. Woe to rulers who deliver their countries into the hands of the evil one. Woe to such rulers. The weight of my justice will fall upon them. You will hear of wars without knowing why. You will see nations fight against nations, and the powerful thirsting for war will lead them towards a third world war. My children will suffer hunger. Water will continue to invade countries and take them by surprise. The earth will open up in one place and another. The earth will shake due to strong earthquakes. Beloved children, they will mock you who believe and maintain your faith in my word. But do not fear. Do not suffer over it. Offer me your pains and sorrows. In the weight of my cross I bore for you what you are suffering today. Beloved children, the sun will lead you to darkness. The sun is sick and will direct strong geomagnetic flares towards the earth. Prepare yourselves with what is necessary for your subsistence. Humanity rejects my calls to prepare. I feel sorry for such people. In the darkness, they will not know how to work and act, living by the mercy of those who believed and prepared. Pray. The earth will continue to shake strongly. Pray, my children. Pray for France and its president. Evil's provocations will continue. Pray, my children. Pray for Mexico. It will suffer due to the shaking of its earth. Remain in prayer and action, primarily by being love. You are children of my mercy, and yet you despise it. The human race wants to fend for itself without me. Beloved children of my heart, I love you ardently and I protect you at all times if you allow me to do so. The wind will blow more strongly and will bring suffering to some countries, causing great devastation. Some of my children have a heart of stone. Such hearts will be treated harshly until they soften. My children are recognizable by their love in my likeness, and in order to come to me, they must love with the same measure with which I love them. See John chapter 13 verses 34 and 35. I call you to hold your faith up high. Events on earth will happen one after the other without your being able to help each other between countries. The warning is approaching, and yet my children are farther away from me. Enter now into your inner chamber and see yourselves as you are, without masks, in the light of truth so that you might repair and convert. I love you, my children. I bless you all, your Jesus. Hail Mary, most pure, conceived without sin. 
Hail Mary, most pure, conceived without sin. Hail Mary, most pure, conceived without sin. A commentary of Duce de Maria. Brothers and sisters, our beloved Lord Jesus Christ mentioned this to me. Beloved daughter, those who respond to me quickly and strive to be different, seeking unity, understanding, and brotherly love, will possess that indelible badge of my love, which is recognized by my angelic legions so that they would come to their aid, especially in times of greatest danger. Daughter, tell your brothers and sisters to hasten on the path of conversion. It is urgent. With faith, we hope, and with great assurance, we will succeed in becoming better children of God. Amen. Immaculate Heart of Mary, prayed for us. A Third Order Augustinian, Luz de Maria de Bonilla is an Argentinian mother of eight children who bears the stigmata. She began receiving heavenly visitations from her guardian angel and Our Lady as a little girl in her native Costa Rica. Along with her prayer cynicals, Luz publishes heaven's messages under the guidance of her longtime confessor, two other priests, and a nun, and her book of messages was granted the imprimatur of the church in 2017. Brothers and sisters, please see the description below for links to our Telegram, Facebook, Signal, and Rumble pages. May God bless you and keep you. Amen.